Hello everybody, Lightning here, and uh, I just thought I could uh, record uh, some of my magic games. This might become uh, kind of a regular thing on the channel, uh, I don't know yet, but um, yeah, magic is a game uh, I've enjoyed for a really long time. I uh, started playing it while, uh, when I was quite young, uh, I'm not sure about the age exactly, but I, I'm, I'm guessing about 10 or 12. <laughs> And um, I got introduced to it uh, when uh, my father uh, showed it to me. He uh, owned a hobby shop, uh, so uh, he always uh, gave me some free booster packs uh, when I helped him out and things like that. So uh, I started getting a uh, quite big collection and uh, played quite a lot, but I, I never... I was never at like tournament level or anything like that. I'm still uh, an amateur and just played with friends and such. Um, and then uh, in, I'm guessing 2011 or 12, when the first Magic the Gathering came out on Xbox Live, uh, I picked it up because yeah, I played it, uh, played the physical game uh, a bunch. So I thought it'd be fun. So I, I picked that up and played it, and then. Uh, Ever since, I've been uh, playing every uh, edition of this game. Uh, this is Magic 2014, the latest installment. Uh, I do have the expansion as well, which came out quite recently, um, which uh, gave you a couple of new decks, Dodge and Burn, Lords of Darkness, Hall of Champions, Sylvan Might, and Sword of the Samurai. But today, uh, I thought I'd play Avacyn's Glory, which is the white human deck with uh, focus on lots of smaller creatures, which is kind of my style. I really like the elven deck as well, and the, uh, also the samurai one and things like that. I, I like the the decks uh, who kind of zerg rush you, so to say. So uh, I just made some. Uh, I I got all the cards for the deck, so I I just made some uh, changes. And I thought I'd try it out against a uh, AI, uh, and then uh, maybe I'll take this uh, onto the multiplayer. And uh, of course, I'll modify it if need uh, if needed. I already tested it out once uh, against the AI, and uh, it worked out fine. Uh, had no trouble really. Land seems good, and uh, uh, everything went brilliantly. I don't think I lost more than like one health uh, and, uh, and yeah so uh, I, I do think I got a, a bit lucky in that game though so uh, we'll, we're gonna jump right in here and uh, try this deck out and we are facing Liliana which is the zombie deck um, which is really annoying with all the removals and uh, also built kind of uh, around the same idea is mine with all the hoarding. Uh, so uh, I got a pretty good starting hand, or a really good starting hand actually, uh, with the champion of the parish, uh, which I'll play on turn one. Hopefully, he won't be destroyed. Turn two, I'll get out Gather the Townsfolk, which uh, gives me two 1 1 white humans who will also buff up my champion. And turn Three, I'll uh, bring out Honor of the Fjord. White creatures you control get plus one, plus one, uh, which will in turn buff both my champion and my one ones, which I get out here. Uh, then I have Geist Honored Monk, a bit high cost for now, and also Voice of the Provinces, also a high cost card, but overall good cards. Uh, Liliana here got out the Grave Crawler which can't block, but uh, it's kind of annoying because uh, as long as she has another zombie, you can get it back on the board. <coughs> See, yeah, she swung for two damage there. And the black cat, that's really annoying as well. Uh, really good for blocking, uh, since when it dies, you can make your opponent discard a card, which I really don't want right now. So, turn two play out the land, get out my townsfolk, uh, which gives me a free free 
champion of the parish, which is really nice uh, so early on as turn two. Uh, I'll attack. She might block with the cat. Yeah, she does. So she will force me to discard a card. And in this instance, I think I will get rid of uh, one of my more expensive cards. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you don't get to choose from that card. Uh, didn't read carefully enough. But luckily, uh, it was the card I was thinking of discarding anyway, so... Uh, I will take the 2 damage, uh, because I don't want to waste my 1-1s, one which will be buffed up next turn. Ah, another cat! That's really annoying, but... Uh, hopefully, she will just take one of my lands here. Uh, but it wouldn't matter too much if she got the Geist Honored Monk either. So we will attack with everything we have, which will swing for 8 damage, but uh, she will probably block with the cat, I'm guessing. Yeah, she does. The, but I still get in 4 damage, so uh, equalizing the health there. And the ice, uh, Geist... What is it called? The Geist Honored Monk got discarded, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. I still have the upper hand in this game, but she has uh, four cards on her hand. Uh, three now, which could be just about anything. Hopefully she doesn't have any creature removal to re get rid of my champion there, because that would be quite annoying. Oh right, uh, Mikaeus is the Lunark, really good creature. Um, he enters uh, the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters, where X is uh, as much as I choose to pay here. And then I can tap him to put a plus one plus one counter on himself, or tap him to remove a counter from Mikaeus, this card, and place it on another creature that I control. So that's a really good card for buffing up uh, your weaker creatures. So I'll get him in with as many counters as possible, which is uh, free, and he buffs up my uh, champion, and I attack with everything I have, and we have 9 damage, unless she has something up her sleeve, which she does not. So we swing for 9, she's down to 8 health, uh, I'm at 14, and next turn I think I will, I will try to buff one of my weaker creatures, because I don't want to put all my counters on one creature which she uh, could remove any time. And this seems very suspicious. She's attacking. Uh, I have a more powerful creature. She has all her mana, so I'm taking that damage, even though I could have blocked. But she probably has like a... Uh, um, give target creature minus two, minus two, which would have killed uh, my great card. I got that. Okay, so we drew a Angelic Overseer. I really like how uh, some cards are animated in this game. Um, she costs five, which means I can get her out this turn. Uh, she's flying, five free. As long as you control a human, Angelic Overseer has Hexproof and Indestructible. Uh, hexproof is, uh, for those of you that do not know, uh, it means that you can't be targeted by spells or abilities, which is really useful because it works on creature removals and exiles or anything targeting the creature, uh, which allows it to stay alive much longer. And it's also indestructible, which means it can't die from damage. So there's almost no way to kill this creature right now. Uh, but if I lost all of these humans, uh, my angel wouldn't have uh, either indestructible or hexproof anymore and could be killed. So, I will remove a counter from Mikaeus and... Uh, oh, yeah, right, he buffs up everyone, not not just a single one. He's even more OP than I thought. So, um, I think I'll stay back with these because, because I can buff them up even more next turn. Uh, Otherwise, this guy would kill them, since he has first strike. So, I'll attack with my champion and leave everyone else behind. Next turn, she should be dead, unless she has anything uh, 
very special there. She only has one card, so... And I have none right now, but uh, since I have an upper hand, I'm not too worried. Okay, she plays the Bloodgast. Uh, the Bloodgast can't block, and it has haste as long as opponents has 10 or less life. And you may return it from your graveyard graveyard to the battlefield when you play a land. So it's the one of the general themes of the zombie deck in this game that um, you have a bunch of low-cost zombies which can uh, come back when you reach uh, certain requirements. Which is quite annoying. So we'll play uh, Gabber the Townsfolk and get two more, which will buff up our champion even more. Uh, and they also get the buff from Honor of a the Pure. Then we use Micaeus to buff everyone even more. So now we attack with the 9 9, 4 4, 4 4, and 8 6, and she is probably dead. Yeah, she has no cards, so uh, GG against the bot. So, so far, I, I feel this deck really works out for me. It's uh, It's got a nice uh, mana curve, something I took carefully into uh, consideration when uh, choosing my cards. Uh, I kept my cards down to 60, so, uh, so I didn't have to, uh, too many cards and a too unreliable deck. So... Um, I guess I'll cut it here because I don't want this video to be too long, but I will uh, make another one where um, I take this deck to the multiplayer, which I usually don't play, but uh, would be fun to do for these, these kinds of videos and probably a bit more interesting to watch. So, uh, this has been Lightning here. Thank you all so, so much for watching and uh, I'll, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.